Hi guys, welcome back uh, to the second part of 2020 uh, paper 2 specimen paper it is. Now we are at 25 uh, step. Produce a report which uh, here we are going to uh, produce one report using this all the data and instructions and uh, which tables we are supposed to take we have two tables available yeah these two tables are av available one form is done so uh, we have to just go through this point to check which table see actually every time they give the tables to be taken right but here they did not give the table name and we have two tables if one table we could have chosen that but here we we are confused to which uh, table we have to take uh, let's see we can see title level uh, day release in which it is in title closing okay from this another table any any fields are there just i want to check that address contact name telephone okay just let me just get back and check uh employee name employee wage employee wage is something okay new day a new column uh, this one closing date duration closing date anything like that uh, training your person no nothing that means it is only one the first table this this uh, apprentice table okay now let's take the table so we are going to pick only one table, the first table okay and this is the first point we have to look at uh, to start with and uh, here since we are creating or producing a report we have to start with a query so let's go for the query just let me just close this as well and now create a query design now see I'm picking only first table that's it close now let me see the column list we can see title level day release we can see title of uh, level and day release day release and next uh, duration closing date and uh, provision wage something it is prob wage uh, duration duration then closing date something Closing closing date, then prop page. Uh, town employer name. Town town employer name employer name. Okay. Now what about the last one? Employee wage. Employee wage is a new column. See here it's been calculated. Yes. So it contains a new field called employee uh, wage, which is calculated at runtime and displayed as a currency. Which field? Uh, this field will calculate the prop of each plus, uh, plus twelve percent of the prop wage. Okay, extra twelve percent. We have to uh, calculate for employee uh, wage. Okay, now let's see. Uh, it's uh, what is the spelling? Employee wage. Let let me type in as a new column, as and it is the last one. Okay, so. Uh, employee employee underscore employee underscore uh, which employee which where is that employee underscore which take a colon there now we have to take a prop which uh, which in square bracket plus 12 percent of prop wage fine so take again the prop wage column uh, the field prop underscore wage close into into 
here 12 percent 12 percent in the sense 12 by 100 you can take yes or or uh, 0.12 as well you can take yes 0.12 or else uh, 12 by 100 you can take fine okay this is done just save i'm going to save this uh, q25 just i would run this last column this calculated cal column to see how my output is uh, given there appearing there and a little more is there i guess what else we have to set for this uh this field calculates this one runtime display as a currency see this we have to display this as a currency okay now let's go to this and it is a currency just select this column select this column and in the beginning what this said uh go to property sheet as well and uh format format as a currency See, currency, if you take, it will come as dollars and uh, uh, dollars. Fine. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is done. Save. Now, let me close this. Now, just I want to see how my this new column, uh, this field is working. I will run this to see the output at last uh, look at that good uh, there's a last column I guess right it's the last column this one employee wages employee wages and what, where is the probation that something prop wage uh, prop wage is here Okay, 105, 12% of 105 calculator. Where is one? Calculator, let me just open the calculator. 12% uh, of 105. Just I will try to get 105 into uh, into 0 0.12 12.6 and uh, plus 105 so it should be 117.6 let me see where is that my calculation oh 118 is coming or oh, 70 sorry i missed out 70 yeah then almost correct right yeah almost is right it's a uh, one zero five point uh seven zero into zero point one two this much then plus uh one zero five point seven zero exactly look at that yes this is what we are supposed to get so our calculation is perfect okay done let me just close this see this is what we got right perfect yeah now let me just close it let me get back to the query and uh, further uh, steps shows only records where town is basildon or brain tree so any one of it can be okay any one of it can be means two options they gave so here just save let's go back to design and the town where is the town it's here now let me just type in the spelling properly uh where is that basilton oh, sorry basilton or now another one is brain tree Brain tree is a is a is town. Weird name. Okay, now just press enter. Okay, this is done. Now let me see. Run and check. Yeah, under town. I'll check under town now. Save and run it. 
where is the town ah oh, you can see the town and how many only 36 records are left over can you see the records over here yeah brain this is brain tree oh all brain tree only there is no basilton there is no basilton Okay, I just I'll go and remove that pass spelling basil done sorry basil done sorry sorry how many 90 records we ate up the rest of the all basil done we ate up okay now you can see here all are appearing those two okay Okay, now let's go to the next. Uh, duration is less than 18. Go to design. Duration. Where is the duration? Uh, duration less than 18. So directly less than just 18. That's it. That much only, right? Yes. Just check that. Where is the duration? all less than 18 yeah now we reach to 44 records fine we are moving uh perfectly now next day release is yes only yes records we want day release day release where is that here is the one it is only yes okay done just save and run this now from 44 to 38 records we got see that and in under day release you see all only yes okay perfect now what's next from that means all these we finished it right all these are done now uh source the data into ascending order so this is a of report section now let's wind up those here uh the query is done perfectly save once again and close it now let me go to the report so create and report wizard it is now i'm uh working this report on query 25 where is that query 25 here it is take all the records next and this is the way we want the report to be uh, displayed now here ordering or sorting uh, ascending order of town ascending order of town and descending order of duration ascending order of town where is the town and descending order of duration yes next and it's a pro portrait or landscape landscape and fits on a single page yes it see it's, it's been checked now let's move to the next uh includes the heading east essex vacancies formatted so that it displays in a larger font at the top of the page east essex vacancies here uh here it is east essex vacancies and modify the report's design finish this is the design of the report and uh, you see there this is the footer and here it should be a bigger in size and uh, let me see how my this data is appearing in the layout view I have to adjust all these uh, so that all the data is clearly visible and I uh, I have to evenly adjust all these so that it looks good when you print that have patience to do such a job because at last it's your hard work it should be uh, seen clearly when you print it here it's uh, actually the values are very long here it is
okay fine this at least this is seen properly and this is vacancy title and here data let's look at that give a space for that uh, here it's a level okay now let me just get this close and what about this one closing date it is and uh, let's give some space over there okay and uh, this one here yeah let's move this bit just to make sure you're just getting all the data properly uh, seen here it is what is this employee wage yeah hope this is all good release date uh, can I move this because there is no place at all okay not bad like this fine this is bit here I'll just move aside uh, so that you can have some space you can also as per your own arrangement you can adjust them properly here yeah it's been adjusted now evenly can you see that just go to the bottom and see all the data is clearly visible see these are the longer ones uh, please check ah oh, here something is missing a what okay see here this one and any more like that now it's fine it's perfect just save the work and let's uh, get back to just uh, edit this title home view design now let me adjust this one they want a bigger uh, font and it should be adjusted in the center fine now let me go home uh, I can increase the font of it a bit color and uh, I'll take the Arial black uh, automatically it's get a bigger because it's a font is like that further if I want I can make bigger than this one right let me see uh, yeah now it's better I guess perfect now let me see what's left after this uh, calculates the average duration duration and places this at the end of the report below the duration column okay average displays the average duration as an integer okay has a label uh, average duration to the left of this value now these three I'm gonna try uh, till here I guess I am done with that right now I am calculating this uh, duration average duration now let's come over here where is the duration where is the duration here is the duration can you see the duration yes now select this go to report design and the totals average here is the average calculation just uh, increase the width of it to see the calculation or the formula there and also we have to add one label to the left of it what is the name of the label something is there average duration fine it's not fitting but later we'll fit it uh, average duration okay now I will just a uh, bit format that both of these give hold down the control and select both uh, 
then come here home just increase the size of it so that it's seen clearly now i have to adjust it under the duration properly okay go to layout now let me see where is it and how it's appearing at the bottom look at that and yeah we have to turn it to in uh to integer right i'll i'll do that first let me do that first this is the left but it's not fitting here okay now let me go back design and just uh, change this to the uh, in uh, this integer fine here under format what you have to do select fixed okay after that now for decimal places you will select zero fine done now just close this save now you see in uh, layout that all decimal places were appearing see now it is appearing only 14 here okay hope it is fine because I increased the size of it as well you do that also I can reduce if anything there here just reduce to 11 uh, reduce to 10 to just get under this exactly under this um, duration column okay now it's better fine next uh, has your name center number can it number in the same position on every page of the report so we have to take either header in header or footer yes uh, they want one uh, printout as well uh, this is fine okay just a printout that you will do it uh, in your real examination uh, but here I have to type what my details go to your design and I'm going to take this in the header okay I'm going to take this in the header just take a label over there in the top right corner my name add your name comma center number comma candidate number okay you can just increase uh, the font or just you can highlight that to have a better look okay done perfectly everything this report is done like let's have a final look print preview or report to view will be like this okay and they want a print of it yes what you will do for the printing just go to print preview this will be printed when you print this exactly on your paper there are two pages can you see there here page one of two you can go to the second one as well having this right done just save the work and close this print preview and also close this report am i right closing yeah we are going to go to the 26th question so let's close this as well now 26th question using fields from both tables produce a report okay now we are going to take another query having both the tables uh, to be added in that and we have some stuff to be uh, to be taken now let me go to create query design both I have to add close okay now what are the fields field set vacancy reference level vacancy reference level um vacancy title duration vacancy title and duration 
training provider only one training provider from either table okay training provider that's it i guess only five one two three four five in this order with the data and labels displayed yeah okay fine now next select only those records where level is three or more level is where is the level level is three or more so uh less than or no more sorry more than or equal to three okay just let's save this as a 26 q 26 now what's next vacancy title includes the text care includes the text so when it is said including the text you have to use star and the like okay like and the star we have to use before and after this uh, care care text okay so here where is that vacancy was that vacancy title here so i have to use like space first uh double quotes star write care i mean type care then star then double quotes okay make sure this is where is done properly perfectly then press enter okay now just let me see how this is working okay means whatever uh, the the values in the fields are having care even a part of the values care then that whole value will be the record will be displayed okay so save this and run how many records only just 31 left after uh, this one here where is that vacancy title see there horse care apprentice so in every record there is a care say carer something and uh, care care everywhere care is there care yes. such records only we wanted and our uh, the criteria formula is perfect now after this all done sorts the data in descending order of level okay now i have to go for the report right so let's go to the report section and i'm going to close this save one more time last final time then close this now i'm going to open what the report create report wizard and query 26 take all the uh, fields and next yeah this is the uh, report design now what's what's that sending a descending uh, descending order of level it's just this is toggle button descending now level okay and uh, has a page orientation portrait and fits on a single page now go to the next portrait fits on a single page now what's the title of the page uh mm -hmm. higher level care jobs okay let me type in that higher level care jobs modify the query design finish okay so this is the design view save and just set set up the uh, data in the layout view for the printing look at that it just automatically adjusts uh, by the system uh, like you know, we have to set that so that it will print properly And uh, it looks good when you clearly evenly adjust the data on your report. Here is the one. This is support. I think duration it is fine. Bring this data over here. And this is the last one. I guess this is fine. Oh, here something is missing. Look at that. Be careful, careful when you are doing this stuff here also there 
okay this is perfect now save it and let's go to the question uh paper that is uh it includes uh includes a heading higher level this is done right we have to just uh, in the larger font and all we have to adjust okay let's adjust that in larger font size and uh, in the middle or something it didn't say anything has your name sent a number candidate number on the report okay now let's do that uh, save and just go to a uh, home view design so on the top this is the one let me just get that uh, bigger in size here I will just go for uh, 24 or anything like oh, no change that and then you can take a different font as well yeah is it fine yeah it's good higher level uh oh okay save it now let's get to the question once again uh has a name center number candidate number on the report they didn't say where to uh, to take now always uh, if they don't mention my choice is on the top in the header just go to report design take a label and adjust there let's go for the name center number then candidate number Uh -oh. Okay. Ah, oh, fine, whatever. And then, uh, no, like, let me just. Format it bit. Okay, fine. Even you can increase the font of it to 12. Now it's perfect. Save. And what else we have to do? Uh, that's it. Save and print the report. Make uh, so we have to even print that as well. Okay, fine. Just finally, just have a report view. This will be the report view. Uh, make sure all the data is clearly visible right okay done now let me close this now what else I have to do uh, this whole part is done 27 export the uh, report created into step 26 in a PDF file format save the exported file in your work area and even we have to show that evidence in our folder that we have exported it to our folder now let's do the final step here where is the report uh, this report right this is the one right click and export as a PDF and where we're gonna save it see look at that we have to save in our folder in our folder so clearly make sure of it okay now publish perfect can you see that okay done this is done now let's go to our folder where is that saved look at that here it is saved select that and let's take a, a print screen of it take even covered that path of your folder and uh, copy Go to your evidence, evidence 10. Is it evidence 10? Yeah, perfect. Now let's paste it. Okay, this is done. What else there? This is mine is done. 
Okay, over. Yeah, this is end of your uh, specimen paper 20 of data anal uh, sorry data manipulation that's access part. Okay, thank you. Take care.